trying to think of the best way to do this. Okay. No, no. It'd be easier to do it this way? No, we just we just roll. We don't edit. We just go. So, Mike, you made a really cool movie called Baloo. Yes. And uh, it's tell tell us what it's about. Okay, Baloo is about an inner city high school marching band from Washington D.C. Um, they're they're extremely talented band. They're a nationally ranked uh, high stepping marching band, and um, and they come from like the worst section of D.C., like the most impoverished, gang ridden. Like violent section of DC. So you made the full, talk about you made the movie. How long did it take, and why did you get into? Why did you decide to make a movie about a marching band? Um, I was I was visiting a friend in DC, and his wife uh, was a teacher at Baloo High School, and uh, and then we saw the um, we we went and we saw the band perform, and they were just absolutely phenomenal. And I had lived in DC before, so I knew the story of the area where they're from. So I knew to be that good there had to be a story. Mm -hmm. And so my friend who I was visiting was Casey Callister and mm -hmm. he um, he decided to be the producer on the movie. Cool. And then you were there for four months. Did you just yeah. live with the kids basically, like in yeah. school every day? Yeah, pretty much I was there every single day. Um, I was I was on weekends I went to uh, performances mm -hmm. with them. So I was with them practically every day for four months. I, I have about 400 hours of footage. That's crazy. Because I watched the movie, Rick Short Let Me Borrow the Movie, and it was really good. And uh, you were telling me these stories the other day about what happened after you put the movie out. And I, like you were saying, uh, uh, well, first of all, you interviewed a whole bunch of cool people for the big. Yeah, yeah the biggest, Jesse Jackson, mm -hmm. Colin Powell, um, and, uh, and then Marion Barry, um, mm -hmm. Congressman John Lewis, mm -hmm. uh, the opera singer Denise Graves. Mm -hmm. And everyone, everyone who we interviewed had a connection to to Baloo High School. Like Denise Graves, uh, her brother went to Baloo High School, um, and uh, Marion Barry is the councilman. He's no longer sure. married, DC, but he's a councilman mm -hmm. in the district that Baloo High School is. Jesse Jackson judged the competition they were in in mm -hmm. Compton, California. Cool. Um, they marched in Bush's uh, second inaugural parade, so uh, Colin Powell saw. So, after it came out, how did you do the, the what I'm kind of curious about is how you started marketing it, like what did you do with the festival circuit and what was that like and what is the process because I don't even know what it is. Well, we just we just kind of blanketed it with, those, um, with festivals and actually for almost a whole year we didn't get any into any festivals, but once we just got into that first festival, which was actually the, uh, the Syracuse International Film Festival, and after we got into that, then we just started getting into more and more festivals. And I think there's been a, we've gotten into like 15 or more festivals. And the coolest one that we got into was in Minsk, Belarus. And then myself and the producer, Casey Callister, we got to go to, uh, to Belarus. And, and we showed the movie at the film festival. And then the State Department also set up um, different uh, screenings around around Minsk where we went to uh, high, the high, different high schools and colleges and showed it to the, the Belarusian students. It's the State Department of Belarus? No, the, State, the United States State Department. Really? So okay. it, was, it was a very bizarre trip. Like we, we, got, uh, we got driven around by the embassy car. We had our own translator. So it was just, it was a, it was a really cool, bizarre uh, That's trip. Crazy. And then um, you were telling me about the screenings. There was a screening at the White House or something. Can you tell yeah. talk a little bit about that? Yeah, there's a there's a there's a there's a, screen, there's a screening there's a screening at the White House. Blue was um, um, uh, I guess one of one of the aides um, heard about uh, Blue and uh, one of the White House aides, and then and then told Laura Bush about it. It was during the Bush administration. It was 2008 when we had the screening. And and, and, uh, and she wanted to have a screen at the White House. So myself, the producer, and um, the, the marching band and the marching band staff, we were all invited to the White House. And they had a screening of Blue in the East Wing. And um, it was just it was really cool to be to be in the White House. And there's a really cool moment where I was I was standing on on the balcony uh, like on the White House out looking over on the lawn and there are people like on the other side like taking pictures and I was standing there with one of the drummers Roderick and he's like 
and he just like looked at me. He's like, "This is really amazing." He's like, "Thank you." He's like, "We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you." And it was just like a really, it was a really cool moment. And there's also there's a moment in the movie when I interview Jesse Jackson, where Jesse Jackson says that um, that Baloo, um, that the students from Baloo can go from Baloo High School to the White House, meaning that they can they can you know you know they can eventually make it to to the president, but it was a really surreal moment, and there was a gasp when we were watching the movie, and Jesse Jackson says that, and all the kids from Blue High School realized at that moment they were actually in the White House. So that that was a really cool moment, and so Laura Bush and Barbara Bush both watched it, and they both cried. So I can say that I have made two of the former first ladies cry. <laughs> you were saying. Uh... I forget. I forget what the, the. It was at that same screening though, and, and were you tell you were telling me about the photographs, how they took all the photographs, and because yes. <laughs> well, this was this was great. Yeah. Well. Well, so we're we're standing there, and the the president was just going to come in and just get his get the photo op and then go out, and then myself and the producer, we're standing we're we're standing there waiting to get our picture taken with the band, and then an aide came up to us and then called us away. And we had to go and stand in another room, and we couldn't, we couldn't uh, get our picture taken with the band because I don't know. You can make whatever assumptions you want, but two, two white guys kind of throw off the uh, dynamic of the president standing in a, in an all like African American uh, marching band. Awesome. So where can uh, if I want to go watch Blue? It's online, right? Yeah, it's online. It's um, it's it's. Um, it's free on Hulu, and um, and also you can get the you can get the DVD on Amazon, and um, um, and the DVD it, it actually has like 40 minutes of special features because there's like I said I had I had 400 hours of footage and my first cut of the movie was like over three hours, so it's an hour and a half, cool. and uh, um, so I boiled it down to an hour and a half. And and uh, there's a lot of really good scenes that that are definitely worth seeing, but they just didn't make the final cut of the movie. So they're in the special features. I have the extended interviews with Jesse Jackson, Colin Powell, uh, Congressman John Lewis, and they're really good and they're really worth watching. Cool. Yeah. And wait, do you have a website? Yeah, it's uh, um, bluemovie.com is the website for uh, for Blue. What about anything else you're working on? Um, tons of other stuff, right? Working on, <laughs> I'm working on a, a human rights film festival for Utica, New York, right now, and um, and that's called Unspoken. So it's www.iamunspoken.com, and then my other website, my film company website, is alienfilmcompany.com. Awesome. Thanks for taking uh, time, Mike. Thanks for